of Federico Talk Swatches. I'm currently in New York, um, and I just wanted to check in with you guys and answer a question uh, that I found quite interesting, and that is, what exactly is a luxury watch, or what do I consider to be a luxury watch? Um, now, that's it's simple to answer, but you know, I think the definition changes from person to person. Also, regular programming will resume uh, probably on Tuesday when I'm back in uh, Miami. Also, everybody wanted to know what watches I brought with me to New York. So before we answer uh, the luxury watch question, I figured I'd show you guys. So first is the Panerai Illuminor Daylight, a watch that I haven't been giving much love to recently. So I figured I'd wear it, not to mention it goes well with winter attire and the stress strap. I brought two more pieces uh, in this watch roll, and actually I wanted to thank a viewer and a good friend of mine, uh, The Watch Hipster, who sent me this really nice suede watch roll. So if you guys want one, just Google The Watch Hipster. So let me open it up here. So along with the daylight, I also brought the trusty Seiko SKX, a watch that, you know, it's kind of my beater watch. It's an interesting... It's, it's a piece I really like to wear, and it's a piece that I don't really care if it gets too beat up. Actually, I really want it to get beat up to get a little bit more of that personality. You guys know I like scratched up watches. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. So this is uh, what I probably wear through the airport and on the airplane and, and bang it around. And then I also brought my IWC Engineer Laureus with the blue dial on the brown alligator strap just because I'm going to that auction I've got to wear a suit, and this is just going to look really nice with formal attire. And all of that in this beautiful suede watch roll. So that's the, so those are the watches I brought with me to New York, um, in case you guys were wondering. But anyway, luxury watch. Well, what is a luxury watch? Well, luxury by definition is not something that's needed, right? Luxury is... Uh, well, it's just that. It's a luxury. I mean, I know you can't define a word using that word, um, you know, and I was never the best at English class, but luxury is, is an extra. It's something there for enjoyment. Because nowadays, you know, we can all tell the time on our phone, or if we don't have a phone or don't want a phone, you can get a quartz watch, a G-Shock, or even a $20 quartz watch that's going to be more accurate than any... Patek Philippe Tourbillon on the market. So by definition, uh, any mechanical watch is a luxury. Now, what you define as a luxury watch, I think evolves the more you get into the hobby. You know, for a beginner or someone just starting out, you know, a Seiko SKX could be a luxury watch. Well, why? Because it's $200, it's mechanical, and you know, it's more expensive than a quartz piece. It doesn't work as well as a quartz piece. It's just something you have as that little luxurious extra. Now, many people might be like, Federico, the SKX is not a luxury watch. And you know what? For me, or for someone like maybe you, who's been in the watch hobby for a while, it might not be. So I figured I'd give you my personal definition, Federico's definition of a luxury watch. You know, for me, uh, for a watch to be considered luxury, I like to, s I like something that is a unique, not only in the look or the materials maybe, but also in the movement or maybe in the finishing. So, for example, a Seiko SKX, I personally wouldn't consider it a luxury watch. The movement is mass produced. The materials are nothing special. Um, you know, it's. It certainly doesn't live up to my personal definition of a luxury watch, even though it is a great piece. But by that token, people might say, well, what about Rolex Federico? Their movements are mass-produced. Sure, but luxury also uh, has a threshold of quality. And while Rolex movements might be mass-produced, they use uh, 904L steel. Uh, their movements are a different kind of great altogether with the Siloxi hairsprings or parachrome hairsprings. The finishing is different. They use white gold indices. It's little touches that define luxury. Um, it's m when a watchmaker 
doesn't do the bare minimum. When a watchmaker does actually quite a bit more than a bare minimum and it's all about the details. Take this Panerai for instance. Now this watch has a 70, uh, ooh, is it a 7750? 7753 I believe. So it's certainly not uh, an in-house movement, but it's got a Panerai in-house design. Uh, the 7753 is decorated. Uh, the dial is done on multiple planes with some great loom and it's on this really beautiful distressed uh, Panerai OEM strap. So this to me would be a luxury watch because it's filled with details. Now is it hot horology? No, it isn't, but a luxury watch doesn't need to be hot horology. You know, if you take an FP Journe, gold movements, gold casing, uh, alligator straps, hand engraving, stuff like that, that is the ultimate in a luxury watch. But in my definition, a luxury watch pretty much starts um, not so much at a price point. You know, I'm not going to say a luxury watch is $1,000 and up. I don't think that's accurate, but in my opinion, a luxury watch is a piece with detail that's well thought out, has detail more than the minimum to make it functional, has, um, uh, you know, a level of finishing. It might not be hand finishing, but it's where the watchmaker goes <clears throat> above and beyond to just make a piece that works. It has to do more than just work. It has to have, um, you know, personality. It has to have uh, a design process and it has to have the details. And, and to me, that is the definition of a luxury watch. Now, yeah, this is a very big generalization because there are a few watches out there that fit that description that I might not consider a luxury watch, but it's so hard to define that I figured I'd keep it as general as possible. And I think the longer you're in this hobby, the more your definition will mold into your idea of a luxury timepiece. But it's just a question somebody asked on my last video and I thought was really interesting and it's really much harder to answer than I thought. But anyway guys, what do you think is a luxury watch? In your opinion, what fits that mold? Guys, you know, I know it's a shorter little video, but I'll be back in Miami on Tuesday and I'll get back to regular programming. In the meantime, thank you so much for sticking around for another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, sub subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.